Hi, my name is Clayton Durham. I'm a sales and service technician for Word Rock Drills. This is our radio remote control built for us by Koozie out of Spain. I'm just going to give you a brief rundown of all of the functions of our radio as well as the frequent troubleshooting questions uh, you may have in the future if you purchase one of these. Right now, I'll start off with installing the battery. It pops in, pops out, no screwdriver needed. Uh, we will supply a charging station for all of the batteries. You can plug it up to your car, even plug it into a wall. Uh, make sure whatever you do, every single time you turn it on, turn it off, pop this button, it'll guarantee that your battery is always good and fresh to go. I'll give you a brief rundown of our radio remote control, uh, just all of the functions they provide as well as how to control your machine. First off, let's get started on how to start your radio remote and pair it to your machine. We have this key that inserts into the side. Uh, you can take it out if you only have one operator on your job site that's allowed to use the machine. Uh, he could take it home with him at the end of the night. Just make sure whatever you do, plug it back in. Most of our guys never take it out, but this kind of secures it for the most part for people to make sure only one guy is able to use it. Uh, whenever you start your radio, make sure you pull this knob straight out and you will see the screen turn on. Whenever the screen turns on, you're not paired to your receiver just yet. What you'll want to do is hold the start button. Uh, down here at the bottom is right beside the key. You'll hold that on until your light turns green. And as soon as your light turns green, that means you are paired to your receiver built onto the machine. Okay, now that you know how to start it and pair it to your machine, uh, I'll just give you a brief rundown of all of the knobs, all the buttons, all the functions. So right now, what we have is your rotation. That controls the rotation of your drilling motor, uh, which direction you want your bit, and it really just basically controls the RPMs of your bit. Uh, you can also control the pressure of your bit, so uh, controlling the pressure thus uh, controlling the torque of the machine. Beside that we have the feed of the drilling motor itself as it moves into the ground. So you control going down on the machine and going up on the machine. And this too also controls the pressure of how much downforce you put onto the ground. Over here you have your air button. Turn on your blow air whenever you start the machine. This is just an on off button. You don't have to pull any levers, do anything. Just pop the button and your air will turn on. Uh, we kind of combined all three of these functions together uh, with our auto drill feature on the side. It is basically turns on your rotation, your feed and your air all at once and it's really easy to start a hole if you have all of your pressure set down to zero and then you start your way into it slowly but surely. Now moving over we have the 360 function which all of our excavator mounts they are built on a 360 rotator. So as you pull this over you'll see your machine slowly tilt over to the left or right depending on which way you pull the paddle. Uh, beside that we have our feet extend paddle which just jams the machine into the ground once you're right over top of the position of your hole. Underneath it, we have our clamp clamp breaker functions. Uh, you just pull those basically until your clamp pads grab onto the steel all the way. If you have a clamp and breaker on your machine, you will just uh, hold both of these all the way down, grab it, and break your drill still based off of these. If you have a hydraulic percussion drifter, our hydraulic percussion button is on the side. We'll preset the valve bank, so all you'll have to do is just hit the button to turn on your percussion. Um, that is also engaged in auto drill. Our 360 paddle works two different ways. You can utilize the first axis for our drill mast. Uh, moving the paddle up and down will uh, either move it to the left or the right, but if you hit mode A or mode B, this also works for our second axis, which will move the drill to the left or the right. So keep in mind that if you can only use one and you have both installed, make sure you hit this mode A, mode B button. On our newer radio remote controls, we've installed pressure sensors and inclinometers on your unit. So you can uh, see your pressures that you're feeding at. Uh, on your display screen as well as you can see what level you're drilling at and what degree you're drilling into a wall or down onto the ground be it 90, 45, 15 degrees. 
uh, you'll be able to see all of that on your display screen. One of the nice features about our radio remote is that instead of all of the programming being based inside of the radio itself, we base everything off of the EEPROM system, which is kind of like uh, a little SD card you put onto the back of the radio. So say for instance, if one of your paddles breaks out in the field, uh, you have to be drilling that day. Uh, just take out your EEPROM, we'll give us a call, we'll ship you a radio remote, and you install this EEPROM with that radio we send you, and you're up and drilling the very next day. And that could go for anything. Say you bust your display screen, you split this entire radio in half somehow. Uh, just take out this EEPROM, we'll send you another radio, and you can install it on that. And you can either purchase that radio we sent you, uh, or you can rent it and send back the radio that was damaged, and we can repair it in the meantime. So you don't lose a day of drilling. Also, if it seems like you run into any sort of software problems, say your pressure sensors are a little bit off, uh, things of that nature, that too, you can just uh, mail us your EEPROM, we can reprogram it, or we can send you another EEPROM as long as you promise to send that EEPROM back. That's one of the really neat features about the Kuzi Radio Remote, because most of the other suppliers out there, if there's any sort of software problems, if you damage anything, you have to send in the radio and the receiver. Sometimes you're down for a week, sometimes you're down for two weeks. So we tried to keep this in mind, designing this radio with the Kuzi. So you're not losing a day of drilling, that you're right there on the job constantly. We make it work. If you have any more questions or concerns about your radio remote, give us a call at the office at 336-584-6700 or visit our website at www.wordrockdrills.com. Thanks.